This is Dr. Robert Bies from the uh, Retina Department at Kaiser Permanente here to talk to you about macular puckers. If you've been referred to our, our uh, service, you may have received uh, this handout on uh, macular puckers, which will uh, discuss uh, much of what we're um, going to be reviewing today. Macular pucker uh, is, uh, occurs when there has been usually a contraction uh, in the, of the jelly of the eye known as the vitreous. And this sets up an inflammation uh, and cells uh, begin to uh, align on the surface of the retina and then they contract. When they contract, they distort the vasculature of the macula and this uh, can cause uh, what we call a macular pucker. Other names for it might be cellophane retinopathy because it kind of looks like a piece of cellophane on the surface of the retina. When you have a, a macular pucker, um, you may notice that vision becomes distorted or lines become uh, wavy and vision uh, can be reduced. We normally get a test known as an OCT. Uh, here's a picture of a uh, normal uh, OCT in the macula and you can see here uh, that there is a uh, slight indentation uh, to the macula and this would be normal anatomy. With a macular pucker uh, you will notice that the uh, that there is a membrane on the surface of the retina and this membrane uh, has resulted in the macular architecture being obliterated um, and, re and this re is the cause uh, of your blurred vision. Macular pucker usually will stop at approximately the 2040 to 2060 uh, visual acuity level. Sometimes it can get worse. If left alone, uh, the, the vision will continue to remain distorted and will not improve on its own. Uh, the only option to improve your vision is an operation called a pars plane of vitrectomy. During the vitrectomy operation, the membrane is gently uh, removed from the eye and this normally can restore the anatomy. With the restoration of the anatomy, uh, it is hoped that your visual acuity will improve. Normally, it's the quality of vision uh, that uh, is most noticeably improved, um, which would mean that the blurriness would, go, uh, would be reduced and particularly the distortion uh, be, would be relieved. Uh, sometimes the absolute visual acuity, as we measured it on the chart, uh, may still be approximately the same. The, uh, all operations have a potential for complication. While this is a very common operation to be performed, uh, complications do exist which uh, could result in uh, worse vision, even uh, a small chance that you could lose your eye from the surgery. At the conclusion of this video, there will be a short demonstration uh, on film of an actual operation. Now, many of us don't like to watch operations, so there will be a little break and you can turn uh, the uh, film off. Uh, I hope that your operation will go smoothly and your visual acuity will, will improve. In this short movie, the membrane or macular pucker appears slightly green. This is because it has been stained with a artificial dye to make it easier to see. As the membrane is being removed, uh, it is taken off the uh, area of the macula, which in this movie appears as that orange spot that you'll see. The membrane is gently elevated from the retinal surface, and as you can see in this particular case, is actually quite extensive. Once the membrane has been lifted off the retina, it can be easily removed from the eye.